And welcome back to the Cincinnati Reds franchise mode here on MLB The Show 24. And we stated it in the last episode, our, our pitching's a problem. If you missed the last episode of the Reds franchise mode, go watch it. Crazy game we played at Wrigley Field against the Chicago Cubs. But we gave up 13 runs. We scored 12, but we still lost the game 13 to 12. So we have to really just look into switching some things up. So Brent Suter is going to be a lefty in our bullpen now. We are gonna call him up from AAA. I'm going to trade Tony Kemp. He holds no value to us. I'm gonna trade him over to Cleveland for James Karinczak. I, I don't think the Guardians would actually do that in real life, but I'm gonna get a little bit, you know, a little bit unrealistic there. I, I try my hardest not to make un unrealistic trades, but Karen Chak hasn't been doing great for the Guardians this season. I think a trade that kind of benefits both teams because the Guardians get off his contract, Tony Kemp's an expiring deal, and we take Karen Chak instead. I'm gonna send down Frankie Montas. He was the opening day starter, but his ERA is at 5.5, and we've got a guy out of the bullpen who's been waiting for a shot in the lefty and Brandon Williamson, and that's what I'm going to go for now. So I know Montas and AAA is kind of ridiculous, kind of just feels weird, but we're gonna try things out with Williamson. I think Williamson can give us better production and we're gonna try what Montas, see what Montas can do in AAA over with Nick Lodolo. Gonna trade one of our bullpen guys in Fernando Cruz and a couple other prospects and Austin wins for Riley Adams. He's the backup catcher on the Nationals. I just wanted a backup catcher uh, basically for Tyler Stevenson. And Christian Encarnacion Strand got injured. So there's that. We're gonna have to really just reshift everyone. India is gonna be back in the starting lineup. It is what it is. Spencer Steer can play first base. And folks, if you haven't yet though, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for some more Reds franchise mode every single day here on the channel. Earlier today, we posted our Nationals March to October. If you like this series, you'll probably like the Nationals March to October as well. I'm not gonna accept that trade. I forget what team offered us, but not gonna accept that. We're doing all right. I believe we're second place right now in the NL Central. Again, the, the St. Louis Cardinals are completely running away with the division. At this point in time, I don't know how many games over 500 they are. I think it's around the 20 game mark though. So the Cardinals are playing really good baseball. We're 38 and 34, currently sitting in that third wild card spot. The Pirates are 36 and 35. They are a couple games back of us for that third wild card spot. And also the Chicago Cubs are in play for that wild card as well. So it looks to, for now, it looks to be that these three NL Central teams will all be vying for a spot in the playoffs, likely with that number six seed in the National League playoffs. We'll see though, again, a long season ahead. This is only game what? I think like 78-ish. Bryce Miller making the start tonight for the Pirates. They traded David Bednar about halfway through the year, and in return, they got Bryce Miller. So Miller's been all right for the Pirates, 3.96 ERA so far in the season. But again, you know the offensive firepower the Cincinnati Reds have. They are going to connect, and they are going to try to hit the ball very far and hard. As TJ Friedel is going to fly out to start off this game, here is your Reds lineup for tonight. It goes Friedel, McLean, Candelario, Martinez, De La Cruz, Benson, India, Stevenson, and Steer in the nine. Again, JD Martinez has been that veteran presence for the Reds. We signed him midway through the year and he's been very good for us. He leads our team already in home runs, but there's the candy man. There's J. Mayor Candelario, barely making contact right there and just putting that ball into center field. He'll be on with a two out single for JD Martinez, but Martinez is going to get jammed on that inside fastball by Miller. Let's go to the bottom of the first. Here comes John Means, a guy we picked up as well in the middle of the season. He's been very good for us. 2.68 ERA. He's been our best pitcher. We've talked about the troubles that we've seen out of guys like Nick Lodeau like even Hunter Green, who's still obviously in the rotation, but Frankie Montas, two guys in Montas and Lodolo who have been sent down. John Means has been our best guy by far. The lefty who we got from Baltimore has been dealing with some injuries as what a player right there at third by J. Mayor Candelario to take that hit away from Andrew McCutcheon. But Means has been our best guy. So let's see what we can get out of him here tonight. Hopefully he doesn't give up a million runs like Hunter Green did in our last game. That Rowdy Tellez ground ball is gonna get past Candelario. I thought that was a very playable ball, but it's fine. And now Paguero's gonna walk. So they're loaded with two outs, three, two count. Connor Joe can't pull the trigger. The former Colorado Rocky goes down looking and John Means is going to have the Pirates leaving three men on base to end the inning. Let's go to the top of the second. There's Ellie De La Cruz. There's going to be a triple for him. I think he should have this pretty easy. Yeah, Ellie De La Cruz in there with a leadoff triple. A guy immediately on third base for the Cincinnati team. And here comes the lefty, Will Benson, batting 291 in the year, but he gets struck out on the circle change. Nice pitch placement right there by Bryce Miller. In comes Jonathan India, off the leg on the line drive of Bryce Miller. 
it's gonna score De La Cruz and India is gonna be safe. So it's a base knock for India and an RBI. Miller stays in the ball game. Tyler Stevenson now comes up trying to pull that inside fastball, but ranging back will be the left fielder in Brian Reynolds. Two gone in the inning for the nine spot. Spencer Steer obviously playing a lot more due to the injury to Christian Encarnacion. And same with Jonathan India. Steer is going to fly out into right field. Edward Oliveira is gonna leave things off for the Pirates in the bottom of the second. Hopefully Means can really just settle in here as he will get that strikeout of Oliveira's. Henry Davis now the catcher, the former first round pick for the Pirates will fly out into right to Will Benson. Two gone for the ninth spot, Nick Gonzalez, the second baseman, swearing to miss. Means up and in on the fastball. Let's go to the top of the third. TJ Friedel up first for Cincinnati and that ball is gonna get through. So the leadoff man is on for the Reds, bringing to the plate the left fielder and Matt McClain. He's been so good this season for Cincinnati, and he's going to put that one in the right field. First and second, no outs for the Reds. J. Mayer Candelario on the one two rolls one, though. Telez to short, and there's going to be a double play turn for the Pirates. Not a great AB there by Candelario. JD Martinez, though, is gonna smack one in the left field. Perfect, perfect off the bat of JD Martinez. This game's 2 0 with Ellie De La Cruz gonna go yard. No doubt about it, Ellie De La Cruz. He doubles the run total for the Reds. It was 2 0, it's now 4 0 for Cincinnati. Ellie De La Cruz is ninth of the season, deep in the Pittsburgh skyline, 382 off the bat as the Reds continue this firepower on offense. It's 4-0 in the top of the third, and Will Benson going to follow right back up with another base knock for Cincinnati. He goes up the middle, runner on first, two outs, Jonathan India. That one's lined in the center field, but straight into the glove of the former Kansas City Royal and Oliveras. We go to the bottom of the third here. John Means going to strike out. Key Brian Hayes looking to start off the inning. Again, hopefully Means can really settle in here, but there goes Andrew McCutcheon. Clutch, the former NL MVP, takes John Means' yard. He you know, hit the baseball really hard in his first A-B, and now McCutcheon goes 387 in the deep left, his 12th of the year. Getting the Pirates on the board, it's 4-1, with now the switch hitting left fielder and Brian Reynolds flying out into center field to TJ Friedel. So again, as we saw in the last episode with that game against the Cubs, our opponents really are never out of things considering our pitching staff isn't the greatest. Now again, John Means is our best pitcher, but his pitch count is really high already through three innings. The Pirates have been working counts. They've been fouling balls off. Again, that legend difficulty for pitching does make it hard sometimes. And now Spencer Steer on the 2-2 pitch is going to roll over to third base. Two gone for TJ Friedel, and Friedel's going to get under that fastball. So Bryce Miller goes 1-2-3 in the top of the fourth for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Let's head into the bottom half of the inning with that free run cushion. Paguero up first, going to hit that ball into shallow center. Friedel charging in, but can't make the play. He's going to take that one on a bounce. Runner on first for Connor Joe in the 1-1. Joe up the middle. India dives to no avail. That's going to have the Pirates with runners on first and third. They're on the corners with no outs. Tying run to the plate. It's Edward Oliveras, the center fielder. Oliveras pulls one into center field. I'm sorry, left field. There's Matt McLean. It's going to be well enough to tag the runner from third. It's going to be 4-2 to now in favor of the Reds, with the Pirates again bringing up that tying run. Henry Davis, though, going to strike out in the fastball. Two gone for Nick Gonzalez, and Gonzalez lines one in the gap. That might score a run here. 50 speed. Now, Friedel is going to play that one pretty well, but two runners in scoring position for the Pirates. Second and third, two outs. Key Brian Hayes, the batter, pulls one to left field. That ball's going to get through. Matt McLean going to come up throwing. It's a bad throw in Stevenson way off line. This game, just like that, is tied at 4-4. Four to four. And the pitch count for John Means is at 98. That pitch to McCutcheon's is 99th of the game. And his last of the game, we're through four. The score is 4-4. Four to four. Not where you want to be. But Matt McLean is going to pick it right back up on the offensive side of the ball. McLean's going to pull one deep into left field. There is Brian Reynolds, but obviously bounces off the wall. McLean has got himself a leadoff double. In comes Jamie Candelario, and the candy man, though, is just going to roll over to short. Nothing we can do with that as Paguero makes the play. JD Martinez in the 2 2 though, strikes out on a slider down and in. Two gone for Ellie De La Cruz, and the Reds struggled to put up any runs here in the top of the fifth inning. Let's see if the Pirates can really take advantage here as we go to the bottom half of the inning, and now we're gonna see the pen. 
Brent Suter, the lefty, has not done well since his promotion. 6.3 ERA over 10 innings pitched. Let's try to change that right now. But Brian Reynolds, not the hardest hit baseball, but he's just going to place it in the right field. Reynolds is on with a leadoff base knock. Now to the plate, Rowdy Tellez, lefty-lefty matchup. We like this matchup with Suter, and there you go. He doesn't throw the hardest, more of a finesse guy. He's going to get Tellez on the slider, and now he's going to get Poguero to pop out to Jonathan India. So two down, now up will be the DH and Connor Joe. One, two pitch, Joe way out in front of a circle change and Suter sets him down. So a pretty good outing, at least from what we've seen out of Brett and Suter. Let's go to the top of the sixth. Will Benson puts one to left field and oh, it's gonna get past Brian Reynolds. A mistake out there by Reynolds in left field is going to allow Will Benson to go for a triple. The second triple of the game for the Reds and the second leadoff triple of the game for Cincinnati. You saw Ellie De La Cruz earlier, now Will Benson. This Jonathan India flyout, though, I don't think is deep enough. Yeah, charging into Oliveras, I'm not going to try it with just one out now. So here comes Tyler Stevenson on the 1-1, hits one hard to third. Benson's breaking off contact, and nothing the Pirates can do but just get out Stevenson at first. So a 5-4 lead now for Cincinnati. They've retaken it, and Spencer Steer now with a nice base knock into right field. Steer's on with a two-out single. TJ Friedel now on the 1-1. Is that going to drop in center? Oliveras charging. It will not. To the bottom of the sixth, here comes the former guardian, James Karinchak, 3.77 ERA. Obviously, just got him in trade. We are seeing what he and Suter, the two newest additions to this bullpen, can do. And he's going to strike out Oliveras on a fastball up and in. Henry Davis now. Oh, I thought that two-seam fastball got in there. Don't love the call on that. Nick Gonzalez, though, looking silly on that knuckle curve. Tyler Stevenson with the throw down to second. Runners in there, safe as Davis. So runner in scoring position for key Brian Hayes. He's been kind of silent today, and he's going to stay silent. Strike out on the fastball. Bad swing from the Pirates' third baseman. Let's go to the top of the seventh. Matt McLean up first hard hit ball into center field. It's just caught. Nothing you can do about it. J-Mare Candelario rips one right center field. Again, he's been so productive this season from the plate. Candelario, the switch hitter, is on with a one-out double. And you know who's next. It's going to be Ellie De La Cruz after a J.D. Martinez intentional walk. De La Cruz goes deep left field. That ball's out of here in a hurry. Ellie De La Cruz. I mean, that ball got out in an instant. He is the face of the franchise for a reason. His 10th of the year goes 389 feet, 105 off of the bat. Ellie De La Cruz makes this an 8-4 game just like that. Cincinnati back up by four runs. We just got to hope our bullpen doesn't completely blow this game. Will Benson grounds out to second. By the way, new pitcher in for the Pirates. It's uh, Ronsi Contreras, Jonathan India, well hit ball into left field. Brian Reynolds, man, I mean, I know it's a tough play, but Brian Reynolds is having himself a very tough day out there in left field. That's the 14th hit of the night for the Reds. India's double, but Tyler Stevenson can't get anything going with two outs. Still, though, Cincinnati up by four. And now we go to one of our more consistent guys in the pen. We've had Emilio Pagan, who's been very good for us. I would say TJ Antone's been excellent so far this year as well, um, as well as our closer, Alexis Diaz. But man... Matt McLean lays out to make that play. He will not. McCutcheon probably could have had three right there, but Clutch will stay at second. Pagan dealing with a guy in scoring position. Brian Reynolds rips one into center field, but TJ Friedel is right there to make the play. One gone now for Rowdy Tellez on the 2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. 81 mile an hour curveball, Pagan sets him down. Paguero on the 2-1 and Pagan's gonna get out of trouble. After giving up a leadoff double, he set, settles in and does his job, 8-4. I think we could probably see Pagan out there for another inning, might as well. Matt McLean comes up here at two outs in the top of the eighth, nothing happening early in the inning. Okay, bro, he didn't need a jump throw there, he's doing too much. Let's go to the bottom of the eighth. Pagan staying in the game for Connor Joe. Joe gonna put one on the ground to Jonathan India. Routine first out for the red second baseman. One out for Edward Oliveras on the one two pitch. Got him. Fastball 98 on the gun for Pagan. Two down for the catcher, Henry Davis. He aligns one deep left field. McLean going back though. Hey, right guy at the right place will take it. Let's go to the top of the ninth. We have bases loaded here for Tyler Stevenson. He's 0 for 4, but unfortunately, He'll be 0 for 5. They're going to get the force out at second base. Straight on to the bottom of the ninth inning. Not a safe situation, so let's bring in the setup man. TJ Antone, 1.5 ERA. Again, I talked about it earlier. The guy's been very good. Nick Gonzalez up first. Swing and a miss. Not even close on the Antone slurve. Key Brian Hayes on the 1-2 pitch. Got him. Sinker down and away. Two gone in the inning. Last hopes. Andrew McCutcheon on the 1-2. And TJ Antone, my goodness. 
strikes out the side in the bottom of the ninth inning against the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Cincinnati Reds win this one by a score of eight to four on the road. They improve their regular season record to 39 and 39 and 34. And for the Pittsburgh Pirates, they have now gone back to 500 with a 36 and 36 record. Brent Suter picks up the win, obviously, with means not going the full five. And again, the Reds out hit the Pirates 14 to eight. That's all we can ask for. Another good performance for the Cincinnati Reds. As again, we keep on going here in the 2024 MLB season. So folks, thank you all for watching. Make sure that subscribe button down below for more. Just leave a like if you did enjoy the video. See y'all tomorrow for another Reds franchise. Go make sure to check out the Nationals March to October while you're at it as well. Again, folks, thank you all for watching. And Mamba, forever.